Representative Holberg, I was able to do a quick internet search of uh, outpatient surgeries that are currently capable of per being performed on an outpatient basis, not, rec not currently regulated as uh, your bill uh, is, is um, uh, applying to, in the way your bill is applying to abortion. But among them are uh, breast excision and biopsy, all dental procedures, cataract surgery, vasectomies, tubal ligation, tie tube tying, uh, limb or uh, fingers or toes amputation, and, sur and, and surgery on your, um, your, the lens of your eyes. Now, if we have a concern about the health and safety of outpatient procedures, um, it seems to me that we should be equally concerned with this list as, that we, as we are with abortion. And it, the comparison isn't to tattoo parlors or uh, hair braiding or anything else. The comparison is how we regulate all these other kinds of outpatient procedures. And if you don't want to treat, the, treat abortion similar to those other things, uh, you're singling it out. And I don't know why you would, why would you craft a bill to not apply to all those other kinds of outpatient surgeries? Representative Holberg. Uh, Madam Chair and Representative Winkler, that wasn't my uh, interest, basically. Um, if you look at uh, the situation uh, that we saw in Pennsylvania um, that brought this to life and um, you know, certainly that's something that we could discuss as far as the other procedures, uh, but it's not that it's something that I considered as the bill got put together. But I do, do think that making sure that the clinics are safe and clean and uh, that proper procedures are being uh, implemented for uh, disease control, et cetera, are important. And uh, considering the other uh, procedures that you just listed, um, you know, we can certainly look into it, but um, it's not something that I'm prepared to, to deal with today, so. Well, Representative Winkler. I'm Chair Representative Holbrook. I mean, I understand that abortion is a, is a special interest of a lot of people, um, but it's still a legal procedure, and we should still treat it like any other legal procedure, and I don't support your bill, um, and uh, would urge us to reconsider passing this legislation without looking at the broader issue of surgical centers. If there's a problem with how we regulate outpatient surgery, uh, we should identify that. And rather than uh, pass a bill based on the sensationalism of one particular instance in Pennsylvania, we should understand what the facts are in Minnesota and proceed carefully. Um, if, if we have a regulatory environment in healthcare in Minnesota that is functioning, uh, singling out an abortion bill just looks like a political move, not like a health move. 